this morning I was thinking about the word time. Unusual time. Unusual season. Unusual situation. What all world passing through right now. Time. I hope you understand what I speak to you. The time is not belong to us, but belong to God. Time is everything. What is in God's time, pay attention, what is in God's time, nothing can stop it. Divine timing being unstoppable. Never early nor late. God's time is miraculous. And I won't really continue to talk about the life of Lazarus. He was the best friend of Savior, Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. But he was passing through illness and struggles. In this situation, I see the Lazarus. Maybe you are in this situation right now. Complaining. Limited belief. Blaming always others, our government, our society. Negative self-talk all the time. Dwelling always in the past. Oh, we have better situation in the past. Look at now. Or I, I have passed this and now look my worst life. Dwelling on the past is dangerous. Resistance to change. The need to impress others all the time. The need to always be right. The need to, for others to approval. Which one speak to you right now? With these nine steps. This morning. Through the story of Lazarus. The Bible delivers a powerful message to the world right now. That Jesus Christ in Hebrew, Yeshua the Messiah, has power over death. And those who believe in Him receive resurrection, supernatural life. We see in the book of John, chapter 11, very clear talk about reference in this word. Story take place. <clears throat> Raising of Lazarus story. Lazarus won Jesus Christ close friend. Pay attention to this. In fact, we told that Jesus Christ loved him so much. When Lazarus fell ill, his sister sent message to Jesus. Lord, the one you love is sick. She called the Lord. The one who love is sick. When Jesus heard the news, he waited for two more days be, before going to Lazarus' hometown of Bethany. Few messages in the past I talk about this. But it's this morning as I pay attention again about the time. Jesus Christ, Savior and Redeemer knew that he will do great miracle for God's glory. And therefore, he, wa he was not in a hurry. He was not run quick. He was in the time of intercession. And he said, God, creator of the universe, take the time. Jesus told Martha, your brother will rise again. But Martha thought he was talking about the final resurrection of the dead. The Savior, the Redeemer, the Jesus Christ say these crucial words. I am the resurrection and life. He who believe in me will live, even though he died. And whatever lives and believe in me will never die. That's really a hard verse.
difficult verse to understand. 30 years ago, when I be read this, I would say, I would never believe in this. Because I would say, this is selfish and pride. But Martha, that when told to Mary, that Jesus Christ wanted to see her. Yeshua, Jesus, told, had not yet entered into the village. Mostly like to avoid stirring up the crown and calling attention to himself. The town of Bethany was not far really from Jerusalem. It's very near. Where the Jewish leaders were plotting against Jesus. When Mary met Savior, Jesus Christ, she was grieved with strong emotions over her brother's dead. The Jewish with her were also weeping and mourning, deeply moved by the grief. Savior Jesus Christ wept with them. But Yeshua Jesus then went to the tomb of Lazarus with Mary. Pay attention, with Mary he entered. Martha and the rest of the mourners. There he asked them to remove the stone that cover the hillside burial place. Remember, they removed the stones. I don't know how many stone. The heavy stone to remove. We need to ask many people to come to help. Jesus look up to heaven and pray to his Abba Father. Closing with these words, Lazarus, come out. When Lazarus come out the tomb of the tomb, Jesus told the people, remove his grave clothes. Remove the, whole, the old clothes. Remove the clothes was cover him with already no hope. I call the hopeless clothes. But I see major team and life lessons for today. In the story of Lazarus, Jesus Christ speak on the most powerful message over. Whatever believe in Jesus Christ, receive the spiritual life that even physical death can never take away as a result of this incredible miracle raising Lazarus from the dead. Many people believe that Jesus, Savior, was the Son of God and put the faith in Messiah. Through it, Yeshua, Jesus, showed the disciples and the world that He had the power over the dead. Pay attention. He had the power over the darkness. He had the power over the corona diseases, viruses. It's absolutely essential to our faith as believers in Yeshua, the Messianic followers of Christ, Christians, that we believe in the resurrection of the dead. Hallelujah. You see Yeshua Jesus reveal his compassion for people through genuine display of emotion. Even true, he knew that Lazarus will leave. He was still moved to weep with ones he loves. Yeshua Jesus carry about their sorrow, pain, and disappointed. He was not time to show emotion. And we shall not be ashamed to express our true feelings to God Almighty. Like Martha and Mary, we can be transparent with Abba Father, God Almighty, because He cares for us always, not only in this struggle time. We see that Jesus wait, waited to travel to Bethany because He knew already that Lazarus will be dead 
and that we, he will perform, perform an amazing miracle there for the glory of Abba Father, creator of the universe, God Almighty. Many times we wait for the Lord in the midst of terrible, difficult, hardship situation and whatever why he don't respond more quickly. Often, God Almighty allow our situation to go from bad to worse because he's planning to do something powerful and wonderful. He has purpose that will bring even greater glory to God. Time belongs to God. Your situation belongs to God. Your finances belong to God. All your life belongs to God. Jesus also raised Lazarus from the dead with miracle power, with declaration, with faith. He already know what happened. You know, when you enter into something to you already excited and know for victory, your, your attitude is different. Your way of understanding is different. Your face be, look different. But Yeshua also raised Jairus, daughter, in Matthew chapter 9, 18 to 26. And I see also in Mark chapter 5, 41 to 42. And, and we, the son, Luke chapter 7, 11 to 15, from the dead. He raised them from the dead. I pay attention here for five persons. What God do miracle. Also in the Old Testament. In 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 22, pay attention. Elijah, in Hebrew, Elia. Elise, my God, dwell. Elijah, rise a boy from the dead. Second person, in 2 Kings chapter 4, 34 to 35. Eli Elisha, rise a boy from the dead. Please read this with your spiritual eyes with understanding. The third person, the second Kings, chapter 13, 20 to 21. Elisha bones rise a man from the dead. Wow. It's a miracle for Elisha. But I see in the fourth declaration of the miracle power in book of Acts. This is in New Testament. Book of Acts, chapter 9, 40. To 41, Peter, in Hebrew, Shaul, rise, raised a woman from the dead. We see also in Acts chapter 20, verse 9 to 20, you read home. Paul, rise a man from the dead. The question is for reflection for today, my brethren, who listen this short message of encouragement. Are you in difficult trial right now? The question here is come from above, from heaven, from God Almighty. Are you in difficult trial and you in difficult hardship situation right now? Like Martha and Mary? Do you feel like God is delay much too long to answer your need? Can you trust God even in delay? I talk about time from God. Are you really be faithful and loyal and uh, walk with a submission and obedience in delay time? Remember the story of Lazarus. Your situation cannot be any worse than his. His situation is terrible. Illness and totally dead. But God said to us today, today is the beginning of the month of May. We enter into the new perspective of miracles, signs, and wonders, victory, and supernatural, glorious power. Trust that God has a great, miraculous, heavenly purpose for you trial, and that He will bring glory Himself through it. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. For this moment and everyone who listened this short message of 15 minutes. Lord, I pray everyone who listened this message never be the same. The life come with purpose. 
The life come with hope. The life come, come with expectation. Lord, I pray to you, touch everyone and heal everyone. Restore everyone. Special, I pray for our members and our church in Living Stone Church here in Israel and all around the world. I pray, Lord, you raise them up to be the really intercessor and prayer warriors, to understand that we are the Lazarus generation. Uncompromised generation. The generation with great hope and destination and future of God's glory and power. This year is the year of greatness. The year of miracle signs and wonders in your life, through your life, around your life. Our Father in heaven, hello be your name. Your kingdom come. You will be done on the earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us on that temptation. Don't leave us under temptation. But deliver us, Lord. Deliver us. Deliver us from all these coronaviruses. For yours is the glory and power and miracles, signs and wonders. Yeshua, the Messiah. The King of kings, the Lord of lords. I give to you the glory, the praise and adoration. And I believe, Lord, to you are Miraculous God, supernatural healer, Father, in this time, in this season, in this moment. And I standing with you in prayer, with agreement prayer. Remember, it's time, it's belong to God. Zman shayach le Elohim. Zman shayach le El Elyon. Zman shayach le Tsevaot. Dar Vatiferet. This time belong the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Lord of Hosts. That all your time is belong to God. Don't waste your time for nothing, for stupid things. You are in this world for the purpose. You are victorious men and women of God, daughters and sons of God. You have royalty, kingship on you. God bless you abundantly and exceedingly. With you today, Pastor Danny Rosen, with a word of encouragement. Lazarus generation. Yes, and amen.